I'm okay. I'm in pain, but I'm okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? My name is David Franco, and welcome to the weekend of Vlog TV Vlog, the first weekend vlog after Christmas, that is. Guys, how was your Christmas? Let me know right below. I know it's not about the gifts, but let me know one thing you got that stood out to you, whether it's electronics or something simple like socks or pants or a hat. Shout out to Josh Gas for this awesome Good Vibes hat. Check it out. Isn't that awesome? The colors are awesome. And if I say awesome one more time, uh, they're, they're just very 80s. And anyway, guys, I had a fantastic Christmas with the family, as I always do, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And speaking of Christmas, I was up late last night. I was, actually, it pretty much took all day to edit Christmas 2019. You know, arguably my biggest series of the year. And it came out to be, <laughs> well, like three hours and 40 minutes long or something. Basically, oh, my stomach muscle. Oh, by the way, I, I guess I, sh I should explain that. Anyway, um, yeah, the, the vlog is definitely over three and a half hours long. Three and a half hours. So I'm gonna watch part one right now. Then after part one, I'm gonna do a little special unboxing I'll show you in a bit. Uh, but yeah, if you're wondering what's wrong with my stomach, uh, I, I think yesterday, <clears throat> I was sitting kind of weird while editing or watching Netflix. I, I don't know. And I got up <clears throat> and suddenly like my muscle, like right here around my stomach, just started hurting. And it wasn't like a sharp pain, it was like a muscle pain. I've, I've, I've felt this pain before in other parts of my body, um, because I actually do move around. I know, shocking. I'm not sitting on this couch all day. But really, it, it hurts to move, it hurts to breathe sometimes, which sucks because I need to breathe to stay alive. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, I looked it up, it's perfectly normal, so I, I guess I was in a weird position where I moved wrong and my stomach muscle or abdomen, I don't know what this is right here, it just didn't agree with me. But it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I'm not one of those people who cries about pain. It is what it is. What I'm excited about today is this. I have to preview Christmas 2019 part one, part two, and part three. Those are not the final thumbnails, and I hope you guys enjoyed a YouTube holiday 2019. That was quite the special video for me, guys, so thank you so much for making it possible. But the real highlight of my day today is all of this. I am extremely grateful for all the tech I got. Check it out, I got an Echo Show 5 in white and black. Apparently my parents did not communicate. That's, that's what they said. So um, I got both. Now I'm going to prefer white because I just love white electronics. Uh, but the black one will definitely go in the office. This one will go in my bedroom uh, my, most, most likely. Hello. Sorry, I'm just getting so excited when I talk about tech. I just can't stop talking and then I end up stuttering and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, these are going to be a lot of fun. And yes, I will unbox both in a single video. I also got a Nintendo Switch Lite in turquoise. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's my goal to unbox this at some point over the weekend. If not this weekend, then definitely early next week, like Monday or Tuesday because I want to get this thing out of the box and well, I just want to start using it, but my top priority Has been editing you guys come before my gifts and Sometimes that's tough. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie as a, as a content creator You just have to be very patient. I mean guys I have had this iPhone 11 Pro Max, which was the next thing I was gonna talk about Yes, I bought this for myself. I bought it for myself um I, I bought this thing close to, I guess, actually, I think two weeks ago yesterday. Yeah, pretty sure to the day. Um, and it's been very hard for me to not unbox this. Now, as a content creator, I promise I'm trying to make a point here. As a content creator, you have to be very patient. When you're someone like me and you unbox, or unwrap rather, all of this tech on video, but you still have to edit video first, your patience has to kick in. You have to learn patience. You have to learn to just take your time and learn that these things will happen in time. I'm repeating a lot of words. I'm being extremely redundant right now. I apologize. Anyway, the point is patience plays a large role in putting out three and a half hours worth of content and not being able to unbox two Echo Show 5s, an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and it's in a Switch Lite and... It, <laughs> It's tough. 
it's tough, but I've gotten better at doing it. Because you know what? At the end of the day, as, as great as this is going to be, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. I mean, I'll have plenty of time to use it. So, um, anyway, guys, with that out of the way... <clears throat> oh, God. Ugh. My stummy. Daddy, my stummy. I am going to preview Christmas 2019 Part 1. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And then after Part 1, I am going to give myself a little break and unbox the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Then after I unbox that on video, which, yes, will be in a video, recorded on the Canon 80D, then I'll continue with parts two and three. And yes, I will be doing McDonald's tonight. And no, I'm not streaming tonight. I'm kind of off tonight because I'm so preoccupied with this stuff. Okay. <clears throat> no, I'm not out of breath. I'm not unhealthy or whatever. Well, I guess I am technically unhealthy. It's just when you, when you have a muscle pain right there, it quite literally affects your breathing patterns. And basically, the less things I do today, the better. And the less I talk, the better. But, guys, come on. It's not going to stop me from talking to you. So get ready. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Get some chocolate milk, you little five-year-old, or whatever you are. And get, get some beer if you're over 21. Because this is going to be a very relaxing and tech-filled vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay? Part one, baby. Here we go. Classy. Look at that. That is so damn classy, it makes me sick. <laughs> that timing with Hunter, I love it. I wanted him to be in the intro, but right Let's now, make it a good weekend. And thank Christmas you so much for your support. 19. We know, David. One of the most challenging parts yeah. with these videos is finding a good thumbnail. It's an where people are typically smiling and the image is sharp. From me. I, I have parts one and two done. That's probably going to be part yeah. one, so because of the expression on Mon's face. And then, and the part two, typically the turkey. And part three, I'm trying to get a good shot of Dad. Also, quick correction. Watching part one, I realized what I said before was wrong. Um, I said I have had the iPhone 11 Pro Max for two weeks as of yesterday. Now, one week. So see, it hasn't been that bad of a wait. Not that bad. Okay, I am currently 37 minutes and 40 seconds into part one. Part one's one hour and 18 minutes, so I'm getting there. Then I get to unbox my iPhone. Yes. But I'm also getting work done in the process, so it's a win-win, baby. Oh, and shout out to David Bather. I got a gift from you just now in the mail. I will unbox that shortly. I'm excited. I'm having to re-export part three. I missed the text. The text that shows up. Shout out to April. I'm so sorry. It's it's kind of hard to tell the difference between these two cats that you made for us because they're black and white. But I was looking at a picture of Blinks and Blinks definitely has like those dots on his nose. Um, and for some reason, these these titles didn't stay. I mean, I definitely okay. added them last night. I may have command Z'd a little too much because I was, I was messing around with the audio. I think towards the beginning or end of this, I forget. Anyway, part one. Thank you, it's two o'clock. I know, I know. I have, to, I have to unbox my iPhone. Part one is wrapping right here. There you go. Fancy, right? Damn, I love these titles. They're so good. Awesome music, too. Love it. Have you ever been a nanny? The children. Have you ever been a nanny? No, I have not, but thank you for asking. Oh, God, my stomach. <laughs> do, you, do you know what it's like to strain a muscle and then you have to get up after a while? Whoo! Do not take your muscles for granted, guys. Do not strain your muscles. Okay. iPhone time, baby. And I'm going to casually mention the Echo Shows. And my Switch Lite. Basically saying that you can also stay tuned for those unboxings. Oh. Oh. That hurt. <laughs> okay. I know I said I wouldn't be complaining about this or dramatic. 
Oh, <laughs> that really hurts. I'm okay, I'm okay. It's just pain. A lot of it is up here, too. Where do I want to record this? I kind of want to record the unboxing in here because it's got like a homey vibe. We'll see. We'll see. And there it is, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This thing is massive. <laughs> it's so huge and actually quite a bit heavy, but not, not, a, not a bad heavy, just a quality heavy. Because this thing, in theory, is going to get me, what, like four to six more hours of battery life than my iPhone 10 has, has been giving me for the past two years. And yes, the unboxing is done. I did indeed record it from the comfort of my couch, which is great. I'm tempted to record my Switch Lite unboxing, but honestly, my priorities have to kick in. I have to keep watching Christmas 2019, and I want to set this up in the background. However, if all goes well, I could be unboxing the Switch Lite as early as tomorrow, or maybe even tonight. We'll see. I mean, I'm not, I'm not streaming on Switch tonight, so who knows? Uh, but I'm just glad I finally unboxed this. Okay. Now I'm actually going to set it up, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Quick start. If you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11 or later, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. That's cool. Okay, so let me do this. Set up new iPhone. My God, why is Apple so damn convenient? That is so cool. I don't think I've ever done this before. Hold new iPhone up to camera. Wait, what am I doing right here? So I'm looking at my camera. It gets kind of confusing. Waiting for other iPhone. Finishing on new iPhone. Dude, you got to admit, that's really cool. Look at that size difference. That's insane. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So it should be done shortly. And as always, I'm actually going to set this up as a new iPhone. In other words, I'm not going to bring over my apps. I mean, obviously, I'm going to bring in my photos because it's linked to my cloud. Um, but I always like to get a clean start because, honestly, the average person probably doesn't use, what, 70 to 80% of the apps on their phone or tablet or whatever. So, question for you. When you get a new iPhone, Android, whatever, what do you do? Do you set it up as a new device or do you transfer all of your apps? My Canon has spoiled me for the past couple of days. This thing is so tight. Anyway, finished setting up my iPhone. It's a beautiful thing. I think Face ID is quicker. Yeah, it's like, it's like pretty much instant now. And of course, by finished setting it up, I mean, I still have a very, very long way to go. I've literally not installed any apps on it yet. But it's up to date in regards to Apple software updates. Um, I will say though, first impressions of the case, it looks nice. I definitely prefer the rubberized case, as I've made clear. Actually, did I say that in this video or am I unboxing? Either way, I love rubberized clear cases because you, you just get a nice grip. This is definitely, look, it's like a slippery plastic. But not only that, the buttons are legit hard to press. They require a lot of force. Look at that. Like you, I mean, obviously you're not, you're not going to get too much of an impression on camera but believe me when I say I, I've used better clear cases from third-party partners not really complaining about it because I wanted a case to hold me over and plus it's an official Apple case oh and also I promise I will be pumping out some photography using this wide-angle lens the fact that it's wide-angle is a game-changer for the iPhone um, we've we've had wide-angle on Android for years I've used many Android phones with wide-angle lenses but the fact that it's now on the iPhone, that's a big deal. That's a huge deal. That, that just changes everything. Um, so it's going to look quite amazing. So this is with the wide angle. Look at all that information I just captured. And guys, I was holding it right here. So l let, me, let me take that same picture with the typical lens. That's typical, right? I'm doing everything backwards here. And this is wide angle. Look at that. What a difference. What an absolute difference. And of course, I'll put out actual photography on my Instagram. Instagram.com slash David Franco. So yeah, in other words, I still have a lot to do with this phone. I'm just getting started because I'm 
primarily focused on my Christmas 2019 video. Okay, the real reason I turned the camera on is because my good friend David Banther just sent me this. Um, don't know what it is, but I'm gonna find out right now. I'm assuming it's a Christmas gift. Ugh. Oh my God. David. You wrote TC1 on it. Is this what I think it is? Is this a Nest Hello doorbell? It is! Oh my god, David actually got me Nest Hello doorbell. David, this wasn't cheap. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. David, this is too nice of you, dude. Way, way too nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. This is way, way too nice. Okay, so what's funny about this is David got me the Ring Video Doorbell this time last year. And I gotta admit, I never hung it up. Because uh, I never really went through the process of installing it because I have a doorbell that works. But I definitely want a video out front. However, recently, I got into the whole Nest um, ecosystem, if you will. Because I have the Nest Hub Max. I have two Nest doorbells. My Nest Hub Max doubles as a Nest camera. And now that I have the Nest doorbell, this is like the final piece of the puzzle in making my house more secure than ever. Now, of course, I'll be adding more cameras, but I'm saying like this is the final piece to getting the puzzle started. Terrible analogy. But you guys know what I'm saying. Like, I love Nest products, and I, I honestly didn't think I was going to get this from Banthrop. David, thank you. This is incredibly kind of you. And no, the Ring Video Doorbell is not going to waste. I'm actually going to put that out back, as weird as that is. Um, I, I want a doorbell out back because you never know. I mean, if anything, it doubles as a camera because I want to have some form of a camera out back. Uh, but I do want you to know I will be installing both the Ring Doorbell and the Nest Hello Doorbell. David, thank you so much, and I hope you and your family had a wonderful Christmas. So real quick, that TC1 on the back, I, I thought he just labeled it for fun. It's actually a card. The box of oranges I promised you from Florida. David, Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday, Panther family. David, thank you again so much. And I just do want to reiterate, I don't like tech going to waste, so the Ring Video doorbell is going right here. I know, I know, it's kind of weird to put a doorbell out here, out back. But, I mean, I figured why not? Again, it's going to be a camera watching the backyard, especially with Zero was visiting. Zero was just here, but he's out there exploring or something. So the ring video doorbell is going back here. And the... Look at all these gifts I have for Christmas. And the Nest Hello doorbell is going to go right here. This is what I'm talking about when I say I'm so grateful for all the people I have in my life. Yeah, I know it's just stuff, but the fact that people go out of their way to send me such nice things, you guys are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And speaking of, I will be stopping at my P.O. box tonight. I am still previewing the vlog. Barely used my iPhone, just haven't had much time today. Although, I did charge it, it should be 100% now. Yep, 100%, very nice. I will definitely use that shortly. But guys, I just realized something. With all this Christmas 2019 madness, it just hit me. I never published the weekend vlog for everyone. So I'm going to do that now. And check it out. This is my teaser image for Christmas 2019 early access for patrons. I think that's pretty clever because you can barely see the iPhone 11 Pro Max in the background. But you can see it just enough where if you know I already have it, then it's pretty clear. Okay. Uh, look at all that awesome tech back there just waiting to be unboxed. I think I will do the Switch Lite tonight. Because I was looking at the Target app on my old iPhone, ironically. And by the way, I don't think I'm going to retire this yet. I think I'm going to keep it around um, just, just because. I mean, why not? It's a perfectly good iPhone 10. It's a beautiful iPhone 10 at that. Will I use it as much as my iPhone 11 Pro Max? Of 
Of course not, not even close. But there's something nice about having a spare iPhone that's not antiquated yet. I love that word, antiquated. Okay, I'm gonna publish that, like right now. Wait, did I even get to my point where I said the Target app has a Switch light case that I want? I'm losing my mind. Either way, you know. There you go, guys. Enjoy. It's live. Sorry about the delay. And I forgot it's one hour and 43 minutes long. That's insane, guys. I know I say this every week, but I, I truly do take a lot of pride in publishing what I'm sure are the longest vlogs on YouTube. Like the longest vlogs every single week. Three and a half hours of Christmas. One hour and 43 minutes of last weekend's vlog. On top of many, many other vlogs. Thank you guys so much for putting up with me. I say putting up with me because there's actually many people who watch every single minute of the vlogs. And I even have some viewers who watch my vlogs twice. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, I'm almost done. Thank God. 56 minutes out of an hour and 8 minutes, so roughly 12 minutes to go. Quick maths! Quick note. Keep pausing it. Quick note. My dad actually found this app. It's called Life360. You can basically add your friends and family in what they call a circle, and you can keep track of where they are at all times. Not, not for stalking reasons. I mean, hey, if you want to use it that way, that's, that's it's up to you. But, um... For safety reasons, this is actually really cool. So tonight my parents are visiting, visit, <laughs> what's wrong with me? My parents are visiting friends over in Jersey and I got this alert. My mom completed a 66 mile drive and her top speed was 61 miles per hour. Now I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of Find My, you know, Apple's Find My app. I use it pretty much daily. I just like to know where people are for, again, safety reasons. It's nice knowing my parents get somewhere safely. That's just who I am as a person. I'm constantly worrying about people like that. I guess I guess that's a good quality to have, right? But anyway, Life360, and I swear this isn't a paid ad. I wish it was. Um, it's kind of like Find My, but on steroids. And check it out. It actually says that they're driving... Which, they're not driving now, unless they started driving again and the app thinks they completed. But either way, it says they're driving. It shows me the battery life of, of their phones. For instance, my dad's phone is 93% and my mom's is 62%. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. A little stalkerish, but hey, that's why you have to be added to a circle. A circle of trust, like in Meet the Parents. Guys, thank Love you it. so much. It's, kind of hard to it's finally it. ending. Let's set some goals for ourselves. Let's achieve those goals, and let's just try our hardest. And that's 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 the best we can do in life, right? Try our hardest. Very true. Uh, so once again, thank you. Always so Always try your hardest. Happy holidays. You guys are the best, and I'll see you, and I suppose the next weekend of Lock and Yep, this one. Take care. Peace. Love it. I'm getting a Pixar vibe with that. Is it just me? So good. What can I say? I'm proud. I am proud to release, I think, my longest Christmas series yet. It's just going by the order of my channel. Alright, let me refresh. Yep, there's the newest weekend vlog. Thank oh, you she's saying much. you're an amazing person. Exactly an hour and 44 minutes, sorry. Not 43. Uh, maybe like a day after <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, that's when Dan was over. And to update you guys on the Grubhub situation, I chatted with them the next day. They gave me a $25 credit. I mean, I basically said, look, I, I had company over, and you guys took two hours to only end up canceling our order. That's just crazy. And guys, without question, they gave me a $25 credit. So not only did I get my refund, but I also got a $25 credit towards my next order in Grubhub. And yes, because of that alone, I will be using Grubhub again because I'll say it one more time. I don't blame Grubhub. I blame Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell, but I just don't trust them for delivery. I would much, much rather just go there myself. Just saying. Taco Bell... 
How dare you? It's 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock, I know, I know. I'm in no rush to get a dinner tonight, I guess, again, I'm not streaming tonight. If anything, I might have a snack here, because I've barely had any food. But man, Christmas 2019 is ready to go! Such a big deal, guys, such a big deal. I am going to publish it for Early Access patrons right now. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm on my way out, and I stopped to see the dog, since my parents won't be home for a while. Just let them out to do their business. Justin? Hi, Justin. I'm sorry, don't be rude. Why do you always have to steal the spotlight, Mr. Pants? Why? Okay, bye, Jazz. <laughs> anyway, guys. I, I can't show the front of my house for obvious reasons, but I will say I took a couple uh, low-light test shots, and I am blown away by the quality. Even this right here. I mean, I took this photo right here, and on my iPhone 10, this will definitely be blurry. But it actually captured most of it very well, very, very well. And look, I have everything organized into apps. I mean, uh, folders, folders. I am losing my mind. Okay, so we have photography, entertainment, spending, social, smart, food, oh baby, location, and apps. Speaking of food, stupid me forgot my McDonald's gift card, so I'm gonna go back home and get them right now. Jasmine, come on, I'm leaving. Oh, and I forgot my cookies yesterday. I need those. I have barely had anything to eat today. <sighs> They're called Kiflis. They're somewhere around here. Honestly, guys, I had, what, two pieces of Texas toast all day. That's it, like all day. So yeah, I need food. All right, let's go. See you on the road. <laughs> this phone is effing huge. It's so big. Actually, I think I'm finally gonna get one of those mounts that I can put Either my AC vent or adhesive on the right side. I don't know. I don't know. But the point is, this thing's a little too big to comfortably sit within my cup holder, like my iPhone 10 could. Um, and plus, I, I don't want it getting banged up. Oh, by the way, ordered a case. It's going to be your Sunday. Also, I found out you cannot apply McDonald's gift cards to the McDonald's app. McDonald's. I love you guys. Your your app in general is pretty amazing. Like it works extremely well. But why in 2019 can you not add gift cards to the app? I mean, think about it. You could easily reload the gift cards and it, it's it's a way to get more money out of people like me. People who love your food. I'm just saying, you can add gift cards to Wawa's app. I think Sheets you can do it as yeah, Sheets you can. Dunkin' Donuts you can. Burger King maybe? I think you can add it to Burger King. Taco Bell, I haven't tried it, but I don't see why not. But anyway, McDonald's, you're a billion dollar corporation. Get on that. Now, is this hard to do? Swiping the gift card at the kiosk? Of course not. But it's about having the convenience of doing everything on your phone. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time with this. I don't think anybody from McDonald's is going to see this. But hey, you never know. You never know who's watching your content. And I just realized I forgot to swap batteries when I went home. Damn it. Okay, let's keep this short. Going out tonight may have been a bad idea. You, you should have seen me. <sighs> At Target. I'm like limping around. <laughs> I just feel like crap, guys. But I needed to get my free McDonald's. Shout out to Kristen. I got a quarter pounder with some customizations. Half off using the app. Medium fry. Uh, snack wrap, ranch chicken wrap, whatever they call it, and a Coke. Everything was free with the gift card. So I use a $10 gift card, and the, what, what the hell am I doing? And I have like 49 cents left over, but I have another $10 gift card, which honestly, I'll probably use next week. Oh my God. Mm. <gasps> They're hot. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, baby, I don't care if I'm in pain. This is so incredible. Mm, honestly, I feel so much better when I'm sitting down. Less motion, the better. Mm. By the way, McDonald's is very quick tonight. Awesome. Ah, ah, mm, mm. Mm. You gave me a lot of nothing. 
I wouldn't normally get a wrap, but I wanted a good, like, decent snack in the car because I pretty much didn't eat anything today. Mm. See you guys at home. Next stop was Wawa, though. Gotta get coffee. Servant, a new episode, Apple TV Plus. Oh my god, I'm telling you, what a good show. Don't talk with food in your mouth. It's rude. I made it home alive. Got my coffee, got my milk. Let me show off that quarter pounder. I didn't even inspect it. I'm assuming they did everything correctly. Da 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 da. You know, there's always that awkward part of the wrap with no meat. Shit. Oh god! <coughs> oh! I feel like I'm dying this weekend. Oh, okay. Ooh, alright. Alright, alright. Dude, that is very, very promising. Love it. My battery's about to die, but yes, I did indeed get Maui his treats. And, or, toys rather. And check it out, it's a white Switch light case. Very nice. Now I gotta find my spare battery and my battery charger. It's in one of these boxes. Happy Saturday, everybody. It's 2.18 p.m. I had a really hard time falling asleep last night. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to focus on this too much, but I looked it up. I'm pretty sure it's not a hernia and it's not appendicitis, thank God. I'm, I'm always scared about my appendix randomly bursting. The appendix is a worthless organ that just goes like that for whatever reason. Anyway, my, my symptoms pretty much do match up. Um, hold on, what's it called? Let me see. It is... A pulled abdominal muscle. Yeah, I looked it up and shared it on Twitter. Basically saying that I will not be streaming tonight. Guys, look at this organization. Isn't that sick? It, it, it's just sickening. It's sickening how organized I am. I love it so much. Uh, so I installed a bunch of games. Super Monkey Ball, Tint, Choo Choo Rockets, Super Impossible Road, Word Laces, Dr. Mario World, and Red Ball 4. Um, I have all these social media apps, entertainment, home, food, location, work, finances, utilities, photography, and of course, the infamous folder full of Apple apps, which I do use, but I don't like a crowded home screen. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely taking it easy today, guys. I'm not going out anywhere. I promised myself I'm not going out anywhere. I'm just going to take it easy and chill inside. Oh, by the way, I'm using this camera because I can't find my Sony battery charger. I don't know where it is. It might be in my parents' house. I'm not sure. But there's the Switch lights. I did download a bunch of games last night using the uh, gift card I got for Christmas. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. King Oddball. <laughs> I am a huge fan of King Oddball. God, this thing feels so good, guys. Like, it's so light, yet so solid at the same time. I mean, look at this. What a beautiful console. And, uh, yes, I haven't even played anything yet, but last night I did download King Oddball, Perchang, The Bridge, Angry Bunnies, which is a straight Angry Birds ripoff, Coloro, and Wrecking Ball Adventure. Now, I haven't played any of these games except for King Oddball. I mean, I haven't played it on the, on the, on the Switch, but in general... I've never played any of these games except for King Oddball. But um, from the general consensus that I've seen online, in the, in the um, eShop anyway, most of these games, which by the way I got for like, what, like 99 cents to a max of $3? King Oddball I think was the most expensive one, but hey, it's worth it. Uh, anyway, most of these games are very casual and physics-based. I love physics-based games because honestly, guys, the Switch Lite for me is going to be a casual portable because obviously I still want to play games on my TV and I cannot wait to move everything um, around down here. Because I definitely miss gaming on the couch. But in terms of mobile, why not? So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing some of these games today. And I am good to go. I set up my Switch Lite, set up my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Life is good. Aside from my abdominal, abdominal pain. I'm very tired, too. I'm slowly dying. Mm. Would you guys miss me? Oh, I'm, like, really in the mood for Taco Bell. 
So I think I'm going to say screw it. I might give Taco Bell another chance tonight. Yep. I'm just really in the mood and I don't feel like going there. I definitely pushed myself a little too hard last night by going to Target, um, McDonald's, and Wawa. God, I'm like an old man. Honestly, guys, I wasn't expecting a very exciting vlog this weekend anyway. I mean, I just published over three and a half hours worth of content. So, I think I think I deserve a little break here and there. Oh, okay. Time to edit. I'm watching the Child's Play remake for the second time. The first time I actually, you know, paid attention. And I gotta say, it's not bad. I'm not, I'm not one of those people who disses remakes just for the sake of it being a remake, you know? This is a solid reimagination of Child's Play, in my opinion. Anyway, that's not why I turned the camera on. This is why I turned it on. Check it out, guys. iPhone 11 Pro Max unboxing is done. And my Nintendo Switch Lite unboxing is done. Very cool. Two videos in one day. You gotta love it. This is definitely the most I've sat in a while. <laughs> um, at, at least since my stomach started hurting. And I feel good. I do. So I guess the more I sit, the quicker I'll recover. Hopefully within the next couple of days because this is going to suck. Thankfully, I work at home. I'm extremely grateful to say that and just, just to have that kind of convenience. I love working from home. Because if I did have a quote-unquote real job, which my job is real, um, that would suck. Because I would probably be in more pain throughout the week. Probably. Probably. I always say the word probably wrong. Not wrong, but... Why am I even vlogging today? I don't know. I, I, I guess I like you guys. You guys are pretty cool. Okay, it's been a probably a couple hours since I vlogged. So I ordered Taco Bell and Grubhub. I got the deluxe box. I don't know if I've ever had this before. Taco Bell, please don't let me down this time. Please don't let me down. I <sighs> cannot believe I'm trying this again. It's been exactly a week since they screwed up, by the way. Biggest screw up ever. Okay, so medium Pepsi, chips and nacho with cheese sauce. Oh, it hurts to talk. I'm sorry. Chips and nacho cheese. Oh, I'm sorry. Chips and nacho cheese sauce. Sometimes these descriptions confuse me. Uh, chicken chalupa supreme with creamy jalapeno sauce. Beefy five layer burrito. Hold the beans. Not a big beans fan. And finally, a crunchy taco supreme. I was really looking forward <clears throat> to getting all that. Um, for free, or at least at a steep discount, but my $25 credit doesn't apply. I, I, I had to spend a certain amount, and I don't know how much. It doesn't tell me. So I tried the $10 credit. That didn't apply either. I had to spend a certain amount, so I, I guess I'll save that for more of a premium restaurant. You know, something that's actually going to cost a lot of money. But at the end of the day, all of this costs $19 for something that originally costs seven dollars and forty cents oh my god I'm, I'm paying such a premium such a premium for the convenience of them bringing it to me it is what it is i need food and i really really don't feel like going anywhere um but yeah 19 dollars for taco bell it's not cheap <laughs> that's definitely not cheap it's so so overpriced but it'll be worth it because I haven't eaten all day, guys, except for like a crappy little breakfast sandwich. Oh, and plus, you can't forget, I have $50 in DoorDash credit. $50. Now, you might be wondering, well, David, why didn't you go with DoorDash? Because unfortunately, Taco Bell is not on Dash Pass, meaning my delivery wouldn't have been free. It would have been like a $7 charger, $8. So in theory, I would have spent the same amount. So... Not really that big of a difference. Now, I gotta find a good restaurant. What, what's a good restaurant I should order from in the future that my $25 credit will apply towards? Red Lobster? That would probably allow me to use $25 credit. Because it's really not that cheap. I would say what a sucky weekend, but in a way, it's kind of very relaxing. I mean, again, I got work done. So, I mean, I haven't been completely worthless. And I enjoyed the games I played on my Switch Lite, and I've been further enjoying my iPhone 11 Pro Max. 
Sorry guys, not the most exciting vlog for you this weekend, but hopefully next weekend will be normal. And where the hell is my camera charger? Oh my god, it's the same guy from last week. Remember him, guys? Lewis. <laughs> he probably hates me. That is too funny. But the food was actually picked up this time, unlike last time. They could have been a little quicker, but it is what it is. Uh, so, I'll keep you guys updated. God, I'm hungry. And I'm watching my video. It's always wise to preview your content. I cannot tell you how often I see errors in other creators' content. And it absolutely blows my mind. No excuse for that. Oh my god. Please excuse the mess. Some of this is still from the Christmas party. Uh, I have so much to do around that house. Anyway, guys, it's a miracle. Like, everything is actually here. Within two hours. I'm, I'm being kind of funny, because it's usually here within an hour, but... Remember last week, it was like two and a half... Actually, no, it was like two hours, two and a half hours until... I'm just glad it worked this time. So, you know what? It's cool. It's cool. I still wonder what happened. Like, I hate not knowing, but it worked this time. So, very cool. Ah, uh, come on. Let me try this. I mean, I've had them before, but come on. This is exciting. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Such a basic snack, but amazing. All right, so what do we got here? We got the chips and nacho cheese. This feels like my chicken chalupa supreme. This is my crunchy taco supreme, and this is my five layer bean burrito. Very nice. That is plenty to fill me up. 839. Just finished watching Zombie Land. Double tap. And I gotta say, it's actually pretty good. Hold on. Really bad lighting. Let me load up my iPhone. There you go. So I say actually really good because the trailer. <laughs> the trailer, in my opinion, didn't look that interesting. Uh, but this one was actually pr pretty, pretty damn good. I enjoyed it. I don't know if I liked it more than the first one. It's hard to say because th this is so much better than I thought it would be. Especially with the variety of characters this, this time around. I'm looking up... Uh, the score. What the? Come on. Zombie. Land. Double tap. If Okay. Okay. If I had to guess. 63%. 68%. God, I'm good. I know these critics so damn well. Seriously. And the uh, audience gave it an 88%. Which is higher than I would have given it. But uh, yeah. Definitely between 60 and 70 is very fair. Also, talk about was great. Definitely hit the spot. I, I have my hitting paddle on that my parents dropped off for me. I am going to relocate to my bed in a few minutes. It's only 8.41. I'm just going to chill upstairs with my iPhone and my Switch Lite and just play movies in the background on Plex. You know what? I don't mind being in pain because in a way it's kind of my excuse to relax. It's kind of sad. But kind of cool at the same time because I love working. Happy Sunday, my fellow peeps. It is 5.46 p.m. Yes, I haven't vlogged all day. Not gonna lie. It's really nice to relax and not worry about vlogging too much. But next weekend is going to be normal, I promise. Unless I'm in some horrible accident and... Sorry, that's not funny. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> I'm just saying... Hopefully next weekend's normal. Whew, what a dark way to start today's clips. Seriously though, guys, um, I, I just, I just want to give a shout out to my patrons. We're currently at 590. I've picked up so many new patrons this weekend, and I'm pretty sure it's based on the fact that they can get Christmas 2019 early. Thank you so much. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to lose a lot of patrons come January because typically on Patreon, um, a lot of people don't renew, which is perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. 
But hey, if you did recently pledge, please, I encourage you to stay pledged. It makes a huge difference in my life. I put out four exclusive vlogs for you guys every single month. Four early access vlogs for you every month. I have not had any, any anything to eat all day. Um, and I try to do a hangout every month. Lately, it hasn't been every month because I've just been busy with Christmas stuff. But yeah, I'm hoping to get back on track with that in January and beyond. Okay, guys. I am so hungry. I am so hungry. I feel tired. Oh, by the way, if, if you care, quick update on my stomach. Today is the best I have felt since Thursday or Friday. Honestly, I spent, well, like five or six hours in bed last night just watching movies, playing around on my iPhone. Actually, I got, got some work done on my iPhone last night, which was really nice. And it was just a very relaxing and productive night for me. So in other words, I think sitting down really does help like it makes such a big difference now it's obviously still there it, it might it might take weeks to recover that i've read online but um yeah this is definitely the best i felt anyway getting to what i was gonna say well first of all check out that organization guys it is so damn clean so clean so i'm thinking of ordering food online again this time from doordash I know, I know, you're thinking, David, don't you ever cook? Yes, I do. Seriously, I do. Um, but today's another one of those days where I just don't feel like going out. It's best if I sit right here. Seriously, it is. I mean, I, I have to take the trash out, get some things done around the house. But I'm just looking to not move all that much. And I figured, unlike my Grubhub um, credit... I can use my DoorDash credit by default. You know what? Overall, I'm just more impressed with DoorDash. The fact that I had a $25 credit based on Taco Bell's screw-up last week and that I couldn't use that credit because I have to use, I mean, I order a certain minimum amount, that to me is kind of BS. I mean, DoorDash, when things don't go well, say I get a $6 credit, I can use that by default. I don't have to spend a certain amount. So overall, I'm definitely much, much more impressed with DoorDash. Um, overall, it just seems to be more affordable. They are far, far more generous with, with the uh, credit that they give you. Um, now, to be fair, Grubhub seems to be more compatible with restaurants. For instance, I can go all the way into what seems like Lancaster City and all that stuff with Grubhub. But with DoorDash, I mean, to be fair, look. Right here, going all the way up top. I have plenty of choices, especially with Golden Corral. I gotta say, as good as Taco Bell was yesterday, I don't think it's worth ordering Taco Bell delivery. I mean, unless you have some kind of steep discount or promo code. I'm just much more comfortable ordering something like pot roast from Golden Corral for $10, uh, plus a little bit of fees here and there, than ordering something like Taco Bell. Or even something like pizza, like Strasburg Pizza or Two Cousins Pizza, that's that's actually what I'm going to be ordering tonight. Because you typically have leftovers the next day. So, um, yeah, Taco Bell, it was fun to get it delivered, but I'm just a bigger fan of going there myself. Anyway, I guess I'm talking a lot. So, yes, today's order is going to be Two Cousins Pizza, which I've had my eye on for a while now. I've never actually tried them. Uh, but I'm going to be getting a Buffalo Chicken Cheesesteak and mozzarella sticks. Two items that I'm always very curious about because mozzarella sticks can vary greatly. Like for instance, I love Pizza City, but in my opinion, their mozzarella sticks are kind of lackluster, but their buffalo chicken cheesesteak is great. Um, and then you go to somewhere like Strasburg Pizza, and I think their buffalo chicken cheesesteak was okay, but their mozzarella sticks are better. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, if you guys have never used DoorDash, let me show you what it's like. So basically, mozzarella sticks, $6, and you get six sticks. Hey, dollar each stick, I'll take it. Unfortunately, they don't have potato skins. I, I, I often don't see places that have potato skins, or at least pizza places, I mean. God, I miss Pat's Pizza. And actually, that might be on Grubhub. That might be on Grubhub. I, I, gotta, I gotta look that up. Yeah, I just want to make this clear. I'm not done with Grubhub. I mean, I have, what, $25, $35 of credit to use with them. I just hate the fact that you have to spend a minimum amount to use that credit. Um, so, again, like I said last night, I will eventually use that credit on more expensive places 
um, somewhere like, I don't know, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, whatever. Or if I have someone over, like Dan. But um, for me, solo ordering, I think DoorDash is the way to go. Or Uber Eats. I've, I've got these Uber Eats here, but I've used it in Jersey before, and it was great. In California. Okay, so going back to Two Cousins Pizza, I have the mozzarella sticks in the cart already. And I'm going to give their buffalo chicken cheesesteak a try. Large, that way I'll have for tomorrow. And I got my appetizer already, so I don't have to choose that. And I have my soda already. I have plenty of soda left over from the party. So I think that's all I need. And this will be completely free because my credit actually applies. I don't have to spend a certain amount. Twenty-one, twenty-one. I saved. Which is kind of pricey for a buffalo chicken cheesesteak and mozzarella sticks. But the fact that it is a large buffalo chicken cheesesteak and I don't need all the mozzarella sticks, that means I can have that for lunch tomorrow. So in a way, I'm paying for dinner and lunch for $21. That's not bad. So apparently DoorDash won't ship to you. Ship? That sounds weird. Um, except orders less than 50 cents. So I technically had to add a little more food, which is kind of weird. Even if you use a gift card, I mean, you're still in a way spending money. I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. Either way, I added french fries to the order. So now I have a buffalo chicken cheesesteak, mozzarella sticks, and fries. So the, the fries were like $3.75. So including everything with tip, it was like $4.60 or something like that, which is cool. Hey, I, I, just, I just got all that food for essentially less than $5. Okay, um, hopefully it'll be here soon. I ordered at 6.05 p.m., so make notes. I've never ordered from here before, so I am quite excited. I have too much food coming, that's for sure. But hey, it didn't, didn't really cost me anything with, with the gift card, so thank you, Janelle. Oh my god, why are you so wet? Zero, what happened? Here, turn the light on, come on. Can you guys see him? It's kind of dark. Here, I mean, I, I know I know it's raining, I'm not an idiot. But he must have gone through bushes. Here, are you okay? Oh my god, dude, you're soaked. Poor cat. I think he likes the rain. Seriously, I think he actually enjoys it. Oh good, he's in his house. Stay in there, dude. Cool, order is confirmed. Preparing your order. I'm hyped. It's, it's a lot of food for someone like me. I, I get full easily. Leftovers tomorrow, I'll take it. Thank you so much, Janelle, for the gift card. I appreciate it. The next gift card is brought to you by my sister. Another $25 gift card. I'll try not to use it this week. It's a little tempting. God, we live in amazing times, guys. I, I used to I used to not have access to to services like this in my old house in Jersey. Because I was I mean I I was near places, but I wasn't near like a very popular place. I don't I don't know how to describe that. But um basically since I live in Lancaster, I'm surrounded by restaurants and everything. So it's just it's just really nice to have this convenience. Okay, cool. So everything cost me four dollars and sixty five cents. I'll take it. Thank you, Janelle. Okay, so two things. My driver's name is Shakira. Pretty cool. And I have a mouse trapped in my garage. He 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 ran in when I was taking the trash out. I mean, I was kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, "Damn it, a toad got in," which is fine. You know, a mouse is fine too, as long as he doesn't chew anything, which he probably will. I put a piece of lettuce in there just to lure him out. I tried to shoo him out with a broom. It worked at first, but then he went into a different corner. He's right in there somewhere. He's, he's buried behind the bucket and all that wood. I don't think he can get into the house through the garage, so I'm not too worried about it right now. But I'll definitely keep an eye out for him um, and try to get him out. And no, I'm not going to kill him. I don't kill mice. I try to capture them and let him go. Now, Zero might kill him. That I can't guarantee will not happen. <laughs> Hi, Zero. I'll feed you again. All right, 651. I ordered when? 605? So, less than an hour, which is typical. That's good. 
That's good. Oh, God. Oh, by the way, Shakira was a dude. I was not expecting that when I opened the door. I was like, you don't have a vagina. He's like, what do you mean? I didn't say that. Come on. Ooh, hold on. Come on. Order online. Available through DoorDash. 10% off order. Cool. Must present coupon to order. Okay, so I'll actually save that for when my mom and I go. Guys, I feel legit dizzy. I feel so dizzy. Um, I need to eat. All right, buffalo chicken cheesesteak. Oh my God, which is so heavy. Very nice. Bag of french fries. I love the classic paper. And, oh wait, these are the fries. Oh my God, it's a lot of fries. So these are the sticks with marinara sauce. Fry test. Mmm. Dude. Mmm. Not bad. All right. I'm gonna try everything and I'll let you know how it is. How it is. I gotta slip move around so much. Guys, I'm signing off from the vlog, but my God. <clears throat> Shout out to Two Cousins Pizza. That is the best pizza place experience I've had in a while in this area. Not only were the fries legit, legit meaning that they weren't batter dip, they were just straight up french fries. Hey, right? He's meowing because he just pooped. Although they could have been a little hotter, but that's not really, that's that's just a normal thing with DoorDash. But still, they, they were so good. Mozzarella sticks were definitely above average, but what stood out for me about those was the marinara sauce. I don't know if it's homemade or where it comes from, I'm not sure, but I do know this. Oh, this thing, my freaking eye. <clears throat> the marinara sauce was amazing. But what really blew me away was the buffalo chicken cheese steak. Now guys, Let's get something clear here. I am a buffalo chicken cheesesteak critic. I love buffalo chicken cheesesteaks. There's a certain midpoint where you have to get comfort, blend it with spice, but not make it too spicy to the point where it's unbearable. And I'm happy to say Two Cousins Pizza, they pulled it off. It was messy. It was gooey. It was very, very tasty. And it was not overly spicy. And perhaps best of all, it was incredibly hot, temperature-wise. Like, it got here, like, it was hot to the touch. They wrapped it so well, it was packaged well. And I say that, because sometimes you get a sandwich and, you know, the first thing you do is throw it into the microwave. That's what I did with the french fries, which, again, no big deal, it's french fries. But with the buffalo chicken cheesesteak, <clears throat> my God. It's not exactly up there with Pizza Peddler. As, as you guys know, I'm a huge Pizza Peddler fan. The best buffalo chicken cheesesteak I've ever had in my life. But damn, Two Cousins Pizza, Buffalo Chicken Cheesesteak, Maui, I agree, dude. It was phenomenal. And I have the other half for lunch tomorrow. Also, I'll say this, and then I'll let you guys go. Their portions are extremely generous. They gave me way, way too many fries. Um, but I told my mom I loved it, and we will be going there in the future with that 10% off coupon. So, Two Cousins Pizza, well done, well done. You have successfully climbed near the top of my most pleasurable DoorDash deliveries yet. I think number one still goes to Golden Corral for the pot roast, but Two Cousins Pizza might be number two. They might be. Seriously, it was that good. And it wasn't really that expensive. So now I cannot help but wonder how is the actual pizza? Because that's how you truly define a pizza place, is by their pizza, right? Of course. So um, maybe I'll get that next time. Also, I just want to show you guys this, and then I'm signing off, because I still have to finish editing this. Check it out. My new case came today. It was like $12, $13 versus what, the $30 or $40 I spent on Apple's clear case, which again, isn't bad, but it's plastic, blah, blah, blah. This is rubber. Check it out. I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but it easily bends, basically. And the buttons, look, easy to press. 
I barely have to apply any force, which is good. Okay, guys, I'm done. Whew, what a great way to end a boring weekend. And my chest is starting to hurt again because I'm moving around a little too much. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know, I know it wasn't that exciting, hence why I'm titling it, You Can Skip This Vlog, or I don't know, I don't know, something like that. But hey, for me, it was a good weekend. It was chill, relaxing, and of course, I got to play with all, all my Christmas, quote unquote, toys, which I always look forward to. Guys, you're the best. Um, I hope you have a great week ahead. Please stay productive, achieve those goals, and of course, Happy New Year.